Hi everybody, it is Saturday, Easter weekend, and uh, what fantastic weather. Yesterday I was in the garden all day long, and today the same. And do you know what? <sighs> I'm almost sunned out. Um, but I woke up this morning to a very disappointing message from Instagram and basically <clears throat> I've been getting my account cloned at least once every couple of months by I don't know who it is or why they do it but basically they're, they're, they're probably from Nigeria uh, because I did speak to one of these people yesterday and asked them to delete the account and uh, he said it was a fan page and I said bullshit um, so I, I complained, I reported it to Instagram and I do this all the time and uh, I usually get to hear about these fake accounts through people who send them to me to say, look, you've been cloned and I, I the same old thing, I say to, say to the people, can you report it and I'll report it too. So it happens, it's every couple of months. Um, which literally, it ain't a problem, it doesn't affect me. But I think what happens is these people who run the fake or cloned accounts, they sort of approach women and maybe they try and build relationships out of these women and try and get money off them. It's a scam, basically, isn't it? I don't know, I've got Binky, can you come here? Bink. Here she comes. And um, so I complained yesterday to Instagram. I reported it. And I woke up this morning trying to log into my Instagram. And my account has been blocked or deleted via Instagram for breaching their whatever they say it is. So, completely pissed off because it's taken me probably three years to get 9,000 followers, which isn't a lot, but to me, that has cost me a hell of a lot of time and effort building it up. And for Instagram to do this is just unbelievable because it's owned by Facebook. And I spend £1,500 a month advertising on Facebook and Instagram adverts, sponsored as. And I haven't even been bothered to check that I am the real person. Because I think they think that my personal Instagram account was a fake one. So they've just deleted, or not deleted, they've blocked it or it's been suspended so and it's very very hard to make contact with instagram so basically i followed the instructions this morning and took a picture of my driving license which they've had i've sent it to them twice just to make sure and hopefully it's going to be sorted out um has anyone else had this kind of problem? And how long did it take for you to get your account back online? Um, I definitely think Instagram needs to sort this out because you can't go deleting someone's account without contacting them first to say, hey, we are concerned about your account. Can you prove your identification? No problem, but don't go and delete or bar straight away because that's not that's not good enough because these people who have spent hours and hours and weeks and weeks and months and months and years and years building their Instagram followers up, this means a lot to them. And it, obviously it means a lot to me because I spend hours a day on brand awareness through my Instagram. I've got two Instagram pages. I've got one on newprojects.co. And I've got Mr. N, Nick Jeffries, um, which is the one which has been barred. 
So I hope this can be sorted out pretty quickly. Um, you know, I understand Instagram has got probably 500 million users. And this is, this is probably happening to a number of people every day because I get approached daily by fake women um, accounts, you know, sexy girls, sexy profiles, trying to say, hi, how are you? And they've got uh, three followers and they're following 500. Basically, some, some Nigerian taking on the identity of a sexy girl, um, following as many people as possible and having a couple of followers back, trying to get attention, trying to find a weak guy or a weak girl to bite, to build up a relationship and then try, trying to sting them for money or something, because it does happen. So if anyone is out there who works for Instagram or Facebook, please sort this out because it's not acceptable. I spend a lot of money, I think, and I do deserve some customer service. You know, Facebook chase me weekly to see how my Facebook sponsored ads are going. Um, so I can't wait to speak to my client manager next week to let them know what's happened to my business Instagram page. So again, woke up this morning and my Instagram personal page has been taken down because I think they think I am a cloned account. No, I'm the one who gets cloned. So hopefully out of all of this, after I prove my innocence, they may even give me a verified blue tick. So, every cloud has a silver lining. So let's see what happens. Anyway, I think I'm gonna go back to sit on one of those benches over there and uh, catch some more rays because it's uh, boiling. Anyway, that's my rant for Instagram. And um, let's catch up next week. See ya.